All right, just going to show you about this new app. It's really cool. It's called I Annotate PDF. And so um, come in here. I'm going to exit out of library view. Welcome. And you come in and you can see different things that are done um, here with I Annotate, some of the options that you have. Um, but what I'd like to do is go back to my library and show you all of them here and look into um, my imported documents. Just some files here of some PDFs that I have. And I'll just show you how to um, pick one of these files and I can look at it here as a graduate studies and research transfer substitution form. Could be any PDF really. Um, but I can pick on this sidebar here with these different toolbars, um, different um, tools to use. So like a pen or a pencil and I can highlight or whatever. Something like that. Uh, undo that if I don't like it. Uh, click done. But if I want to use a typewriter keyboard, just like for example I need to type my name, I just uh, type my name here and capitalize. Okay, fill in all the rest of the information. You get the idea. Come down in here and pick the courses that need to be added here. Once again, if I want to do typewriter, I just basically paste it that number right there. Or I can go ahead and use freehand um, like I would here for selecting the type of major, the degree. And I can just use that pencil there. And if I want to do a different color, and you can see here the different weight of the line as well will change. I could pick a yellow um, color and it would change that automatically. Um, if I go back to blue, I can do that. And so you see how that with the weight, the line weight as well changes. I can go back and something like that. So you see, and then uh, scroll down. Whoop, uh, go ahead and undo that piece. I'm done there, and now I'll continue to scroll down. And here I can go ahead and sign my name. <clears throat> I'll change, uh, well, I guess I can keep it in blue. And uh, just sign, it, sign that either with your finger or a stylus. I'm using a stylus here. Okay. And then um, go ahead and go approve there. And I'll fill in the date. And I'll just type the uh, numbers in here. So it's 11, uh, 9, and you can go 2012. Right. And moving that over, just slide it like that. So you get the idea. Click done. And then, uh, now that I'm done with it, I, of course, fill in all the information. And then I can go ahead and send it out. And to do that, well, let me show you this. This is kind of another neat thing. You can have multiple toolbars here. And so I just did a flick here of the uh, this little line right in here and just um, move between toolbars. And you can have multiple toolbars if you like. And so I'm going to go ahead and email this. I'm going to do the flattened version so that it will go with the um, uh, annotations that I made. And for here, I can go ahead and get the printer. And I can, uh, with Printopia on my um, Macintosh computer that I'm using, my iMac, I can print from my iPad if I want to. Um, or if I want to go ahead and just email this to someone, share it. Uh, once again, I'll go with the flattened option. And I can share this into my open office or Dropbox or an Evernote um, and things like that. It gives you some really neat neat options there. And then if I want to email it, I hit here, um, choose the email option, and I can, um, as you see, it's got the all the annotations and everything right there, and it will send it away. I basically just type somebody's name in or my own. Um, just go with that, Gmail and boom send it and uh, very sh shortly I would have a copy in my mailbox and whoever else I would send it to and once I'm done with that I can close and go back to my library and you'll see I have my documents all there uh, once again I mean it's basically pretty simple and markup tool is really neat um, as well so like for example if I want to um, well, here, if I want to do some highlighting or something like that, um, I could just do that, see that. And if I don't like it, um, I can, of course, undo that 
and so there's all kinds of neat things you can do pick different um, colors if you want and all that sort of thing uh, if I don't like that I can go, go like that okay um, once again different color schemes uh, things like that you can use now if I want to comment here just highlight it again and so you can see here I can type in a comment um, I'll just type this um, is um, a provoking a thought provoking statement or something like that So you get the idea. Okay. And then I can pin that there. And so I can click done and minimize that comment. So next time if I highlight it, I can come here and then I can obviously see that. So it's kind of neat. Okay. Um, so it gives you some ideas and you can add to it and that sort of thing. Uh, once again, you can. Um, Pick the option to mail this, you know, send it around wherever you'd like to go. Um, email um, into one of your applications, like one of these uh, here, to email, um, to a printer, um, send it, like I said, to another uh, service like Evernote or a Dropbox or another um, uh, service that you have. Another really neat feature in all this is um, this option here. Where you can go to the web. You see that? I just um, put that back there again and show you that. Well, here's the uh, document. Looks like it came already into my email. Yes, there it is. So if I go ahead and I can see it, that it came in my email. So that's pretty cool. Okay. Um, so if I want to go back here and um, click the web, that earth symbol there. And I can go ahead and save this page as a PDF. And this application will automatically do that. And then if I want to mark it up, for example, if I'm working with a colleague or something on it. Um, so for this one, I'll go back to my major regular keyboard here. And I'm going to do an audio comment and show you how to do that. Okay. So here I may just want to go ahead and um, add a and maybe another um, topic here for the journal, some appropriate guidelines as you're going through here. We talked about original research studies about e-learning, national and state policy reports about and reviews about e-learning. Okay. Finished on that. And then of course I can play that and hear the playback. Okay. So it's pretty neat um, opportunity there. And once again, you can pin that, minimize it and it will show there and again um, <clears throat> the options to uh, email it with the, the flattened version and send it to my email account boom send it and it's on its way so just some really really neat tools in here um, there's also uh, this little toolbox here that gives you options for all of the different um, features that you can do within um, this utility, within this application. And uh, of course, here's all the tools, bookmarks, and all sorts of things. Um, but really nice, neat feature for um, a markup uh, tool. And like I said, uh, once again, different options here throughout. Um, you know, pick different colors and things. That probably don't look too good, you know, blot out and stuff like that. So, um, just kind of a neat, neat little tool here that I really do enjoy um, and using. And so, I think you guys might find it pretty beneficial as well. So, I just wanted to share that with you. And I see that that um, has come up in my um, email already. So, uh, that last comment that I had inserted with the with the audio, so um, you get some use out of this application and enjoy it as much as I did. Uh, the one the one other thing that I did want to share you share with you is that you can manage connections and what that means here in this kind of settings area where all of your documents are. You see, I've got imported the downloads that I have from the web. Um, 
and you know my Dropbox is is affiliated with it. And the way you do that is just manage connections, and under here it gives you um, set up new connections, the different um, services that cloud-based that you can use. And so I've got my Dropbox uh, associated with it, and so that's great. And I can uh, save stuff in there and import and export from the Dropbox, which is really really um, cool. Okay. So I hope you enjoy this application as much as I do. I think it's going to make um, life a lot easier, especially when it comes to PDF and signing and digital signatures and stuff like that.